Hello beautiful people. Thank you for stopping by my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I took an old metal folding chair that was tucked away in the back of one of my storage closets and converted it into a beautiful, glamorous faux fur chair. So if you want to see how you can transform that old piece of furniture that's lying around your house from drab to fab, then stick around. All so, chance to see my DIY video on creating a faux marble table then make sure you check out that video i will have the link to it in the description box below also if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button to become a part of my internet family let's jump right in so to begin the project i brought my folding chair outside and put it on top of a piece of plastic so that i can begin the spray painting process and spray paint the chair this metallic silver color. When using spray paint, it's always best to be in a well-ventilated area. I find it best to just spray paint outside. As you can see here, I'm making sure to cover all the surfaces of the chair completely with the spray paint. And you can always make multiple coats if need be. So this is what the chair looks like when it has been completely covered in the metallic silver spray paint. It looks good on its own, just how it is. It'll go well with my desk. But I want to go ahead and take this chair to another level. And I want to turn it into a beautiful faux fur chair. And not just a plain folding chair. Let me show you how I'm going to do it. I'm going to be using this faux fur rug from Five Below. I'll be using two of those actually. I'll be using two um, chair cushions from the Dollar Tree. I'll, I will also be using a roll of bling wrap th that I used in the previous project. And I'll be using my hot glue gun as well as this piece of foam board from the Dollar Tree. So to get started with the project, the first thing I did was took the chair cushion and I placed one on the seat of the chair and I'm also going to take one of the chair cushions and I'm going to stand it up and place it against the back of the chair just to make the chair a little more comfortable because you can imagine the chair on its own being a metal folding chair wouldn't be very comfortable so you see how I have this set up like so but don't worry about the pattern of the poinsettia. When I cover it with this faux fur, look how thick this is and how beautiful this is. You can't see the pattern of the cushion at all. So that will not be an issue. And I actually could leave it how it is, but I'm going to tack this down on the chair with the hot glue and attach it going around all the edges. But before I do that, I want to go ahead and secure these cushions to the chair. So I'm going to get my hot glue gun and I'm going to hot glue the back and the seat to the chair with hot glue just to keep the cushions from moving when I get ready to sit in the chair and make it more secure. So I have the hot glue on the chair and I'm securing the cushion to the back. And you see how I'm placing this on here? and making sure it's nice and secured. Now I'm adding some hot glue to the top of the chair and I'm going to be securing the faux fur material to the hot glue. I'm just going to wrap that around that hot glue and firmly hold for a few seconds just to make sure it dries and gets a nice firm hold. And I'm going to do that going all the way around the chair. Pull the edges down and um, glue the material to the chair. See here how I'm pulling the sides down? And I'm going to tack it down with the hot glue. And make sure I have the strings from the chair cushion tucked out of the way as well. 
I'm going to secure it. So now that I have the front of the chair taken care of, I'm going to take this foam board and I'm going to trace out around the edges of the chair and I'm going to cut the foam board to fit the shape of the back of the chair. I'm going to cover the foam board with the second rug with the faux fur rug and you see here what this is going to look like once I have that back up to the chair you won't be able to see those chair cushions at all once I have the back attached so now I'm just securing the material to the foam board with hot glue and I noticed that the hot glue sticks the best um, along the edges of the um, faux fur rug more so than it did with the inner part of the rug but I'm going to continue to add the material to this foam board to create the back of this chair So now for this next part, I'll be taking this fishing line and a needle and I'm going to go ahead and thread this needle and I'll be using this to sew the front part of the chair and the back part of the chair together. I figured that would be the best way for me to connect them. So as you can see here, I'm pulling the back and the top together. And I'm going to go ahead and begin to feed my needle through and sew them together. And I'm going to keep doing this going all the way across the top to keep my back and my front nice and secured together. This is what it looks like once the faux fur has been completely added to the chair. It looks very nice and plush and it looks very comfortable. I'm actually looking forward to sitting in it. This is a back view. As you can see, it went together very nicely where I sewed the top and the back together. This material is also so very forgiving as well. Look how plush it is. It's so soft, so plush. Yes, it's nice, you guys. Really looking forward to using this chair. Now I think I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of embellishment to the legs of the chair. And it will also make it a little more cohesive with the um, desk in my room. So I'm going to use this mesh wrap of bling and add it to the legs. And voila! This is our finished product. Doesn't that look good, you guys? We really jazzed up this little folding chair. This is the chair with the desk. It looks so good together, you guys. Look at this. Isn't that a cute little inexpensive upgrade from that little plain folding chair? I love it. I think it came out great. Look at this, you guys. Isn't it so cute? I hope this video has inspired someone to take an old piece of your furniture that you have just lying around your house and transform that thing. You'll be amazed how you can take a piece of furniture from drab, looking like this, to fab, looking like this. Until next time, folks, remember to be inspired.